Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi as we count down to Christmas. But today is a special day. It's the first day of Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah to all my Jewish friends. Today's story is My Two Holidays, a Hanukkah and Christmas story. One cold December morning, Sam woke up and looked out his window. Everything was covered with white snow. Winter was Sam's favorite time of year. He loved sledding, ice skating, building snowmen, and of course, celebrating the holidays. He was so excited that he jumped out of bed, got dressed, and ran downstairs. In the living room, the Christmas tree sparkled with ornaments and twinkling lights. Sam had helped make strings of cranberries and popcorn for the tree. In the kitchen, the silver menorah gleamed in the windowsill. Sam had helped polish the old menorah, which used to belong to his grandmother. Have some breakfast, Sam, said his mother. Does Santa come yet, he asked. Not yet, there are a few more weeks to go until Christmas, his mother answered. What about Hanukkah, Sam asked. Can we light the menorah candles tonight? No, Hanukkah is almost here, but it doesn't start tonight, said his mother. He would just have to wait a little longer. At Sam's school, the classroom had been decorated for the holidays. Miss Nancy played piano while the ch children sang the 12 days of Christmas and I have a little dreidel. Sam loved singing holiday songs he knew all the words and sang the loudest he could. Then Miss Nancy said, today we're gonna learn about the holidays that people celebrate at this time of year. Some people celebrate Christmas and some people celebrate Hanukkah and some people celebrate Kwanzaa. How does your family celebrate? My family celebrates Christmas, said Jack. We put lights on our Christmas tree and Santa slides down the chimney to leave us presents while we're sleeping. My family celebrates Hanukkah, said Maya. We light the menorah every night for eight nights and play dreidel. As each child described their special holiday, Sam didn't feel so excited anymore. He started to feel nervous and confused. All the other kids had just one holiday. Why didn't he? I, 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 Sam stammered and he ran into the bathroom. He stayed there for a long time. When he came out, the class was doing arts and crafts. He was quiet until it was time to go home. I don't want to go to school anymore, Sam told his mother. What happened, she asked. Sam told her about the teacher's questions about hiding in the bathroom. I wish we just celebrated one holiday. It's weird to have two. Sam's mother hugged him. Actually, many people celebrate both Christmas and Hanukkah. It's very special to have two holidays. Then she explained, your dad is a Christian and he has always celebrated Christmas. We decorate the tree and hang stockings by the fireplace. Santa will leave you lots of presents and Nana and Papa will come for turkey dinner on Christmas Day. I love Christmas, said Sam. I am Jewish, continued his mother, so I have always celebrated Hanukkah. The menorah has been in our family for generations. My grandmother gave it to my mother, then my mother gave it to me. Every year we light the candles for eight nights. We give one another presents, play dreidel, and eat latkes, potato pancakes fried in oil with applesauce and sour cream. I love latke, said Sam, and I love Hanukkah too. Sam smiled as his mother hugged him. 
You see, she said, Christmas and Hanukkah are about celebrating our love as a family. It's one of the things that makes our family special. The next day, Sam marched into the classroom with his head held high. He did not feel embarrassed anymore. Sam sang the holiday songs in a loud, clear voice. Then Miss Nancy said it was time for recess. Wait, said Sam. Yesterday, I didn't get to tell the class how my family celebrates the holidays. All the kids looked at him. Well, okay, Sam, said Miss Nancy. Go ahead. My family celebrates Christmas and Hanukkah, said Sam. I get Santa and latkes, stockings and a menorah. The kids were quiet. They all started to smile. Jack said, that's really cool. Maya said, you're so lucky. Miss Nancy said, thank you for telling us about your two holidays. After that, Sam felt great. He was so excited for the holidays. It's okay to be a little different, Sam told his parents when he got home. Celebrating Hanukkah and Christmas means more fun and lots of love. I can't wait for my two holidays. Wow, he was lucky he got to celebrate two holidays. Which holiday do you celebrate? Do you celebrate more than one? Tell me in the comments below and also tell me what story you'd like me to read. And only 23 more days until Christmas. So make sure you subscribe so you never miss a story time with Gigi. And until next time, as my friend Les Brown would say, shoot for the moon because if you miss, you might just land amongst the stars. Bye. Mm -hmm.